Crystal sword. Ooh. Spiffy coat. Present wand. Cat ears. Shield pestle. Or pestle. Yeah, pestle. Oh, uh, let's go to the assembly. Cthulhu decides to return to the assembly hall. The only one out there today is the only one there today is Rose. I was hoping you'd show up today, Cthulhu. Where's the rest of the group? I'm afraid that I'm going to cause them a relapse? Hardly. Your attempts so far have been pitiful at best. The great old ones, old is right. The world has changed and they've been left behind. In the past, it was enough to just stare at someone and drive them insane with the inco incomprehensible terror of your mere existence. But today's modern cultists want more than just subservience, subserviousness and insanity. They want 10-step plans and milestones. They want goals. We're really not that different, you and I. We both have our cults. I'm just better at gaining followers than you. Who are you? Just a mortal who aspires to be something more. Someone even you could learn from. And with those words, she leaves the building, dropping a sword as she leaves. Got a crystal sword. This weapon for Cthulhu also boosts his defense. It's now Christmas Eve the 24th. That healing though. And we got plus five on everything. Oh yeah, baby. And we got tw we got twenty percent. Oh my. Whew. Oh, 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 oh yeah. So good. I like that regen HP H turn though. Well, let's do a little savey poos. How long is this game? This can't be like super long. It's kind of short. There's a lot of short shit to it. Uh, swift dress. Who need, who does dresses? Crystal, maybe? No robe. So Baba. Baba with that, right? Yeah. We need Baba to have a little help here. Let's go to the movies, right? Or Spiffy Coat. Oh, wait. Bell Snickle needs some help, too. He doesn't have really anything. Yeah, we need his power. We need this man's power up. Earth damage plus 20. Yeah, we need his power to go up a little bit. He's a big boy. He needs the he needs to show it up. Take you to the candy shop. Cthulhu decides to go to the gingerbread house candy shop. Inside the candy shop, there are countless shelves filled with chocolates and caramels, all formed into the most elaborate shapes. Crystal is already here. Why, if it isn't Cthulhu? I didn't fancy you as someone with a sweet tooth. I've been known to eat the occasional caramel apple when suffering souls weren't available for munching. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. My favorite dessert is the shaved ice with fruit and chocolate shavings. Delicious and refreshing. Crystal buys two bowls of the aforementioned dessert and hands one to Cthulhu. Bon appetit! Cthulhu cautiously tries the contents of the bowl, of his bowl, then with more energy gulps down the wrist. Good, isn't it? There's something about the way they prepare it here that really pulls out the flavors, and hey! Cthulhu grabs Crystal's bowl and devours the entire contents in one fatal swoop. You're taking so long, I didn't think you wanted it. We just got them. At least you enjoyed them. They were okay, I guess. Grrr. A glitch in the game occurs and suddenly Cthulhu has a new piece of equipment. Cthulhu got a spiffy coat. This arm of a belt snickle taunts in enemies into attacking him. It is now Christmas Eve the 25th. Let's take a, let's take a looky poo at this, at this spiffy coat. A plus one nine, more likely to be targeted by enemies. Activates a level five jealousy aura. Oh wow, we got... Oh shit. Yeah, dude. Yeah, even if we're gonna get attacked. And we need candy. Let's get some candy for him. Sweet candy. Should we spend the time with old Bell? Old Belly? Cthulhu decides to visit with Bell Snickle again. Cthulhu, just a person I wanted to see. Here, help me with this pork rib. Right, and then you'll just accidentally whip me while I'm reaching for it. No thanks. Better's the thought. The breaking of the pork rib is a solemn event that is completely unrelated to whipping. Fine. Fine, I'll break your pork rib for you. Make a wish. I wish that this game was over soon so I could destroy the world and rule the apocalyptic wastelands. You weren't supposed to say your wish out loud. You got the short end, but don't give up yet. There's still the toss segment. Huh? On the count of three, throw your piece of the rib as far as you can. You're making this up, aren't you? One, two, three. What was that? I said throw the rib, not drop the rib. It's really slippery. So, do I get my wish? Let's just say that you should cross your fingers and hope that the game didn't just go up in difficulty. <laughs> As Cthulhu is about to leave, Belsnickel makes a wish and an accessory appears. Cthulhu got sweet candy. This accessory for Belsnickel boosts his stats. It is now Christmas Eve the 26th. 
fuck yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, dude. That's not, like, great, but it, it, it's something. It'll do. Aegis. Uh, swift dress. Baba only have a plain dress and a plain egg. Eggy dress, swift dress, chocolate candy, present wand, aqua cloak, odd candy, rotten egg. Ooh. Go to, let's go to the graveyard. We haven't been to the graveyard yet. Cthulhu decides to spend his days, his day at the Christmas land graveyard. Many of the tombstones have holly wreaths placed in front of them. Candy canes are also a frequent occurrence. There's a chicken there. There's a chicken head down there. It looks like Cthulhu decides to read a few of the messages on the gravestones. Oh. Melinda Greeland, first victim of the Great Winter Uprising of 2010, trampled to death by a horde of cyber elves. Gottlieb Asterman, beloved son, father, uncle, nephew, cousin, step cousin, boyfriend, pen pal, chiropractor, and radiologist. After an oars, in the end, he did not win. In the end, the end was him. Teresa Tess, if we could have one more moment with you, we'd ask you what the Wi-Fi password was. Sander Leish, remember to put a funny message here before the game ships. Ah, <laughs> Hiroki Smith. A lesson to us all, the lesson being to never spook a reindeer while standing within kicking distance. Cthulhu ties of reading the gravestone messages. Cthulhu sees a woman in a purple dress kneeling in front of a large tombstone. Um, let's approach the woman. Cthulhu approaches the woman, but when she sees him, she runs off. Maybe if you return to the graveyard another day, you'd be able to talk to her. Next to one of the gravestones, Cthulhu sees a chicken laying an egg. Badly. Cthulhu got a rotten egg. This accessory for Baba boosts her poison damage. It is now Christmas Eve the 27th. Cthulhu wakes up to the sound of silence. Cthulhu, it's horrible. Everybody's gone. It's a snowman's land out there. Not everybody. I'm still here. I mean the NPCs. The townsfolk. They're all gone. Guess that's it for relationship building. And I was having so much... I was having so much fun having pointless conversations with losers. No, there are plenty of pointless conversations yet in store for you. Yeah. It doesn't feel like this is the end game. This must be only a temporary setback. The city feels so empty without the sound of carolers singing. We can make our own carols. I really think we should stick to the time-tested classics. I'll start. Chickens love Christmas. Chickens, they do. Bok, 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 Christmas. Bok, bok, presents. Um, I'll go next. Toss out the candy, look for the kids. When they grab the candy, you hit their shins. Please stop. My turn. Cthulhu, Cthulhu. We all love Cthulhu. He sleeps in relay. And he wakes up. He wakes. Our flesh will burn and we will learn the joy of Christmas Day. What on earth did that have to do with Christmas? Joy of Christmas Day. Flesh burning. Cthulhu. How can I make this any clearer? I thought it was a neat song, boss. At least someone here appreciates quality music. Yerg. I don't think anyone's coming to attack us today, so let's turn in early. Sleepy time, sleepy time. It is now Christmas Eve, the 28th. Cthulhu wakes up feeling cold, even for him and Cthulhu. Even for him, and Cthulhu always feels cold. I feel cold even for me, and I always feel cold. That's what I just said. Don't steal my lines. The city streets are frozen over, and the whole place reeks of death. The fifth league of Christmas Evil member must be uh, must be out there somewhere waiting for us. But who could it be? Mm. Allow me to explain. Ah, cluck cluck, you're talking. In this dimension, chickens talk. A happy coincidence in an otherwise miserable world. Ah, uh, this dimension? You have been brought to a pocket dimension that mirrors the world you know, but is is emptier, darker, eviler, and yes. A little chicken here. The people you know and love remain safe, but only if you are able to prevent this dimension from spilling into reality. How do we do that, Cluck Cluck? You must defeat the ruler of this world, Bell, before it grows too powerful for this dimension to contain. Bell must be the fourth member of the League of Christmas Evil. Bell is the world ender. He will ring the note that will shatter existence if given the opportunity. Beware the carolers and their song. Each accursed note that they chant grants Bell more and more strength. If Bell becomes too more too powerful, the world will be destroyed, and there's nothing anyone will be able to do to stop it. Not on my watch. Nobody destroys the world except me. Let's do this. Thank you for your help, Cluck Cluck. I live to serve, little miss. 
Hi, everybody. We're doing our thing. There's 15 battles. Yippee ki yay, motherfuckers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Hell yeah, okay. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. No, we're not doing it. That's all. What is this nonsense? Alien bull. They have the tastiest green milk. That's disgusting. They are very poisoned. <clears throat> well, geez, I don't know what to do. Heavy damage, boy. Damn, son. I didn't do anything. That didn't do anything either. Well, Jeebus, dude. I'm gonna need you to, like, I don't know, fuck yourself, dude. Now he's insane. Oops, didn't mean to do that, but okay. Whatever. Items. Nice. Ow. Ooh, I'm hurting so bad. Oh, they have green tasty milk, dude. It's gross. Ow. Ow. Ooh, ow. I am hurting so much. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. How are you not dead? How are you not dead? Not so tasty with your green milk now, bitch. Okay. Fuck you. Whatever they're gonna do. 